Have you ever thought about earning money while you sleep? Welcome to the world of peer-to-peer -peer lending, a realm where the traditional boundaries of banking are reshaped. Picture this, you, yes, you, can lend money to individuals or businesses looking for funds and the best part, you earn interest on your lent money, transforming your savings into an active income stream. Peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms serve as the bridge between you and the borrowers. These platforms have revolutionized the lending landscape by automating the process. So whether you're busy at work, enjoying a vacation, or even catching some Zs, your money is out there working for you, earning interest. It's not magic, it's smart investing. This is the power of the digital age where technology has made it possible for anyone to be a lender and earn like a bank. Sounds fascinating, doesn't it? Let's delve into the process. Before diving into the process, it's essential to understand the risks and rewards. In the realm of peer-to-peer -peer lending, the potential returns can be significantly higher than traditional investment methods. The allure of lending money directly to individuals or businesses, bypassing the banks and earning interest while you sleep is indeed quite strong. But let's take a moment to compare. Traditional bank deposits, for instance, are generally low risk, but offer relatively low returns. On the other hand, peer-to-peer -peer lending, depending on the platform, the loan type, and the borrower's creditworthiness can offer much higher returns. It's not uncommon for investors to see returns in the double digits. However, as with any investment, higher returns come with higher risks. The most significant risk in peer-to-peer -peer lending defaults on loans. Unlike a bank deposit where your capital is usually secured in peer-to-peer -peer lending, there's a real risk of borrowers defaulting on their loans. And if that happens, you as the lender stand to lose your capital. Another risk to consider is the platform risk. What if the platform you've chosen to lend through goes out of business? Your investments could be at stake. It's important to choose platforms that are well-established, regulated, and have a proven track record. So how can you manage these risks? It all comes down to diversification and understanding your risk tolerance. Spread your investments across different borrowers and loan types don't put all your eggs in one basket and always assess your risk tolerance before diving in. Can you afford to lose your capital? If the answer is no, then perhaps peer-to-peer -peer lending might not be the best choice for you. Remember, as exciting as the prospect of high returns might be, it's crucial to understand and manage the risks involved. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a legitimate investment opportunity that requires careful consideration and management. Now that we've considered the risks and rewards, we're ready to explore the process. The first step in your peer-to-peer -peer lending journey is choosing the right platform. The world of peer-to-peer -peer lending is vast and varied, with a plethora of platforms each offering their unique features. Let's delve into a few of the popular ones, shall we? First off, we have Platform A, renowned for its meticulous vetting process. What sets it apart is its focus on creditworthy borrowers, which can be a comforting feature if you're a bit risk-averse. However, remember that higher security often comes with slightly lower returns. Next up is Platform B, a platform that prides itself on its innovative automation features. If you're someone who enjoys the idea of earning interest while you sleep, this platform's auto-invest feature might be just the ticket for you. But beware, automation doesn't mean you can completely let your guard down. Always keep an eye on your investments. Then there's Platform C, known for its wide array of investment options. From small businesses to individual loans, this platform provides a buffet of opportunities. The catch? It requires a bit more active management on your part. So if you're up for a hands-on approach, Platform C could be your match. Last but not least, we have Platform D. This platform distinguishes itself with its high rate returns. While this might sound enticing, remember high returns often mean high risk. It's crucial to assess your risk tolerance before diving in. Choosing the right platform is not a one-size-fits-all process. It's about aligning the platform's features with your own lending goals, risk tolerance and management style. Don't rush the process. Take your time to research, compare and most importantly, understand each platform. Remember, these platforms are merely tools to facilitate your peer-to-peer -peer lending journey. The key to successful lending lies not only in choosing the right tool, but also in knowing how to wield it effectively. With the right platform in hand, we're ready to start lending. Setting up an account is the next step on your journey. 
Now let's dive into the process of setting up an account on a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. This is where you'll begin to unlock the potential of earning interest while you sleep. It's a process that's often quite straightforward, but it's also crucial to approach it with diligence and attentiveness. Firstly, you'll need to choose a username that's both unique and memorable. This will be your identifier on the platform, so pick something that resonates with you. Then you'll be asked to provide a secure password. Remember, this should be something that's hard for others to guess, but easy for you to remember. Next, you'll be required to fill in your personal information. This typically includes your name, address, and contact details. Some platforms may also ask for additional information for verification purposes, such as a copy of your ID or proof of address. Once you've filled in your details, you'll be asked to read and accept the platform's terms and conditions. Now, I know it's tempting to skip over these and just click accept, but it's important to understand what you're signing up for. Take the time to read these terms carefully. They'll outline your rights and responsibilities as a lender, as well as the platform's policies on things like late payments and defaults. Finally, you'll need to set up a way to fund your account. This could be through a bank transfer, a credit card, or even a digital wallet. Make sure that the method you choose is secure and convenient for you. Once you've completed these steps, you'll have your very own account on a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. It's an exciting step opening up a world of opportunities for you to lend and earn. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So make sure you're lending responsibly and always keep the platform's terms and conditions in mind. Once your account is set up, you're ready to lend. Now the exciting part, lending money and earning interest. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. You've set up your account and you're ready to start lending, but how do you go about it? Well, it's rather straightforward. Firstly, you'll need to select loans to fund. This is where the borrower's credit rating comes into play. The credit rating is a measure of the borrower's ability to repay the loan. Borrowers with higher credit ratings are less likely to default on their loans, making them safer investments. However, higher rated loans typically offer lower interest rates, so there's a trade-off between risk and reward. Next, consider the loan's interest rate. The interest rate is the percentage of the loan that the borrower will pay you in return for your investment. Higher interest rates mean higher returns, but they also come with higher risk. So, you'll need to balance your desire for high returns with your tolerance for risk. Now, you may be wondering, how am I going to manage all these loans? Well, that's the beauty of peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. They automate the lending process. Once you've set your preferences, the platform will automatically match you with suitable loans. This means you can earn interest while you sleep. Isn't that fascinating? Remember, lending money is not just about earning interest. It's about helping individuals and businesses achieve their goals. Whether it's buying a new car, starting a business, or even renovating a house, your investment can make a difference. And one more thing, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your investments across different loans to spread the risk. This way, if one borrower defaults, you won't lose all your money. And there you have it. You're now a peer-to-peer -peer lender. So, are you ready to earn money while you sleep? We've journeyed through the ins and outs of peer-to-peer -peer lending, haven't we? We've delved into the nitty-gritty, from understanding the inherent risks and rewards to choosing the right platform that suits your needs. We've learned how to set up an account, and most importantly, we've discovered the art of lending and earning interest. The potential rewards are enticing, aren't they? The prospect of earning interest while you sleep is quite the allure, but let's not forget, with great rewards come inherent risks. In the world of peer-to-peer -peer lending, it's paramount to tread wisely and with due diligence. As we wrap up, remember this is just the beginning. The world of peer-to-peer -peer lending awaits your exploration. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe, and don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Happy lending!